crime punishable by no less than 15 years in a maximum security prison. Or at least it should be. All right, I'm up. Let's see who's too stupid to not be sleeping at this hour. Oh, it's you, Harry. What are you looking for? Leftovers. In this house? Nothing is left over. So I see. What I really had my appetite set on was that nice, plump, juicy bluebird. Mmm, does that look like good eating? But I'll bet you've had your eye on that one for a while, right? Not right. I never chase any bird smaller than a roast turkey with stuffing, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and that cream corn that John's mother made. What? No bird chasing? I gave it up. Too much work, too many feathers, not enough drumsticks. Then, uh, do you mind? Be my guest. Bluebird pie, here I come. <laughs> you win this round, bird, but I'll get you next time. Maybe those trash cans over on Maple Drive will have leftovers. Chasing birds. Looks like fun. But I'm not going to get back into that again. My chasing bird days are behind me. No, no! They're ahead of me! I must chase birds! Okay, if you were a cat, you'd understand. <clears throat> the hunt is on! Get away from me. Do -de -do -do -do. Mm -hmm. Get away from me. I'll just wait here until she comes back, and then I'll catch her. She has to come back. She left her eggs here. dinner to return. <laughs> the Garfield strip's funny today. I just gotta wait here. <sighs> no matter how long it takes. She shouldn't leave her eggs alone this long. Not with creatures like me about. What's wrong with that mother bird? Leaving her eggs alone all day? She kind of cold. I don't think that's good for them. Oh well, not my problem. I'll chase her tomorrow if she comes back. She has to come back. She has to take care of those cute little eggs. The female bluebird lays a clutch of three to five. Hi Garfield. Eggs. I'm watching a very interesting documentary. Anything about feeding your cat? It's all about birds hatching eggs. The incubation process in which the female sits on the eggs to keep them warm takes around two weeks. It's not that warm out there. 
If the heat is not maintained, the eggs will perish. Perish? Oh, well, like I keep telling myself, it's not my problem. <sighs> oh, I think I'll just give me a little sneak. Perish? Maybe I'll just make sure the mother bluebird has come back to sit on the eggs. I'm sure she has. She hasn't. Oh, this is not good. Maybe a muffler or a heating pad. I wonder if there's a place up here to plug in an electric blanket. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Okay, but don't tell anyone I did this. There you go. Keep warm the legs. It's just until the mother bluebird comes back. She'll be back any minute. Any minute. Born. Oh, and now there's another one being born. And this one. Oh, I'm a mother. What am I thinking? No, no, no. I'm I'm not your mama. Wait, stop that. I'm not your mama. I'm a cat. Honest. I am. Here, listen to this. Meow. Meow. See? I hate to abandon the little fellows, but I don't know anything about taking care of baby birds. No, not Mama. Why are you unclear on this concept? Oh, good time for a nap. It's always a good time for a nap. Birds, but I'm not cut out to be their mama. <sighs> what? You guys again? Look, you can't stay with me, fellas. And my water dish is not a bird bath. I don't care what you say. You can't live with me. And stop calling me mama. Oh. Now you're gonna stay there and that is an order. Don't look at me like that. I can't take care of you guys. You need someone who can teach you how to fly. I can't do that. You need someone who can share worms with you for lunch. I really can't do that. I'm not gonna look at him anymore. Your real mother will be back sooner or later. Now goodbye. Bye-bye, bluebirds. They'll be just fine. What if the mother bird never comes back? They could be cold. They could be hungry. <gasps> Be Harry's lunch. My babies! Mama, mama, mama. Hey, hold it down, little guys. I'm gonna be eating. Let me have those birds, Harry. Get your own lunch, Garfield. I said, let me have those birds. Hey, that's my meal. I saw him first. Hold it down, guys. If Harry catches us, you'll be bluebird sandwiches. Those birds are mine, Garfield. You can't get away from me, Garfield. I'm faster and I'm stronger. He's right. He is. I need a place to hide them. That's not fair, Garfield. I don't eat your lasagna. You could leave my bluebirds. Mama! Mama! Ah! Oh. 
Oh, big mistake. Now I'm trapped. Big mistake. Now you're trapped. I said that. <laughs> Ouch! Stop! Don't hurt him. Oh, me. Don't hurt any of us. Now, finally, it's lunchtime. No! <laughs> I'm giving up eating birds all together. No, no, I, I was taking care of them. <laughs> Not me, guys. That's your mama. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. Come visit. Okay, so I saved some birds. You didn't see that, okay? I know where you live. Air boys, wasn't it a great idea to go spend a week with my brother on the farm? No. Isn't it good to get away from the TV? No. And won't it be great to get up at the crack of dawn, work in the fields, and do chores? No, no, and no. And in that order. Yeah. Seven days with no TV, no pizza delivery, and John calling his brother a name he doesn't like. Don't call me duck boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. Doc Boy, Doc Boy, Doc Boy. Told you. You like working here on the farm, John. It's a very efficient operation. That's my farmhand, Ralph. How's it going, Ralph? Fine, Mr. Arbuckle. I'm just about to go commence the milk and the cows. Later on, Ralph will collect the eggs that my chickens have laid today. They are all very productive. Sure looks that way, Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. <clears throat> and later, he or I will milk the cows. I sell the milk, the eggs, the crops at the local farmer's market. It's going to be fun to work here, Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. <laughs> <laughs> You are way too happy to be here, Odie. I'm going to start the milking, Mr. Arbuckle, but I wanted to ask you about something. We got this ad here. It says, high-definition cable TV, 250 channels of movies, sports, music, programs like Super Millionaire Name That Fish, and... Forget about it. We've decided not to have TV on this farm. No TV? That's inhumane. Well, there are some good things on TV. Maybe, but we took a vote. I let all the animals vote, and we all decided no TV on this farm. Do you want TV here, ladies? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what do a bunch of cows know? Just thought I'd ask. It's settled. No TV on this farm. Come on, John. You can go with me into town to pick up the supply. Fine with me, Doc Boy. Garfield, you and Odie can do the chores while we're gone. I made up a short list. Chores? Is that anything like work? Oh, and before I forget, John... Don't call me Doc Boy! Doc Boy! Doc Boy! Doc Boy! Whew. We have an awful lot of things to do, Ode. We better get to work. First off, there's raking the leaves. Then we gotta wash the windows in the barn. 
Then we have to pile up the firewood. <laughs> Mr. Spot. <laughs> Gee, all my favorite shows are on and I'm missing them. <laughs> I know, I know, they voted. Well then, we'll just have to demand a recount. Huh? You know, Chad's. This here's how you get mail. Wouldn't it be easier to just go down to the supermarket to have a whole refrigerator case of this stuff? That's about if you give it a try, Cat. Oh, this is a strange way to get milk. Excuse the claws, ma'am. Yeah! <sighs> Boy, you think that's funny, do you? just bored because there's no TV to watch on this farm. TV? What's so great about TV? What's so great? You can see the world without having to actually get up and do something. Look at all these great channels, like the All Hopscotch Network. And over here is special programming for cows. A cooking show with recipes for the most delicious cud you ever chewed. Oh, tell me more. Oh, everything on TV is so great. Do you really think we'll get TV out here soon? I'm working on it. Next up, we have to convince the chickens, then the horses. <laughs> we must be getting close to your farm, Doc Boy. We are. And don't call me Doc Boy. Doc Boy, Doc Boy, Doc Boy! Hey, that truck's from the cable TV company. I thought you weren't going to order it. That's what I thought, too. All hooked up, sir. I didn't order cable TV. Your farmhand did. He called, I rushed straight out here. Got here before the pizza delivery guy. Pizza? Buongiorno! I came all the way from the city, many miles, to bring you Vito's fine pies, as ordered, Doc Boy. I've got to get to the bottom of this. Don't you call me Doc Boy, either. So the secret of good chewable cud is to start with the top grade grass and weeds. Avoid, you know, burrs, their stickers at all costs. What are you all doing? You should be giving milk. Shh. My cows aren't giving milk. But it's okay. My chickens have been laying lots of eggs lately. How's the egg production going? Chickens aren't laying eggs. Huh? But at least my horses aren't lying around watching TV and eating pizza. How much do you want to bet? What are you doing? No one's doing any work at all. I have to find out who's responsible for this. I have a feeling I know. And now, Mrs. Edna Flurp, for one million dollars, can you name that fish? Looks like Herbert to me. You know, this living on a farm isn't so bad now. My cows are watching TV and eating pizza. My chickens are watching TV and eating pizza. Even my horses are watching TV and eating pizza. And do you know what they said to me? Shh. 
I'm ruined. My farm will be out of business. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doc. I poured my life into this farm and... Doc? You call me Doc? Yeah, I guess I did. Here comes the mushy part. Do you know how long it's been since you called me Doc instead of Doc Boy? A while? Uh... Oh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Flirt. The name of the fish you couldn't identify was Herbert. <laughs> Told you. And now we're dialing a phone number selected completely at random to see if some lucky viewer at home can name this fish. It's a freshwater silver-crusted mango trout. <laughs> I know my fish. If the person we call is watching and can name this fish, he or she will win $100,000. Oh. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. The odds are like a zillion to one against him calling here. And again. Hello. Sir, are you watching Name That Fish? I know. I don't watch TV. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, I guess I'm watching. Super! Then for $100,000, can you name that fish? Sure, freshwater silver crusted mango trout. Why? That is correct! That is absolutely correct! You win $100,000! Doc, are you okay? I'm right sorry about ruining your farm the way I did, sir. Who needs farming? I'm rich! I'm rich! I'm sort of rich. I'm rich enough. Follow that man, Odie. He's rich! He's rich! He's sort of rich. Big screen TV, all the pizza, paid vacations for your animals? Your prize money will eventually run out. So when it runs out, I'll go back to farming. By that time, everything will be in reruns anyway. Mmm, good pizza do you have out here. Mmm, mmm. Okay. <laughs> When those two hounds had me cornered in that alleyway, I pounced on a garbage bin, climbed over a fence, and fawoosh, made my way out across the rooftops. Wow, Harry, you are so brave. Hey, that's nothing compared to what happened to me last week when I... <laughs> Garfield. What's so funny? Uh, nothing. Garfield, it's just that you've always been such a domestic pet. When was the last time you did anything remotely cat-like? Only yesterday, I watched TV all afternoon and then had a full tray of lasagna. See, Garfield, that stuff doesn't really qualify as cat-like. And you know all of this because... Mm. <laughs> Get in touch with your inner cat. That sounds like a lot of baloney to me. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. Let's see, chapter one, cats hunt mice threatening the safety of their household. Hiya, Garfield. What's up? Hiya, Squeak. I'm good. Uh... <gasps> wow, that was pretty good. You almost had me. Harry and Arlene are right. I'm so out of touch with my natural instinct. I've got to do something about it. Chapter two, cats climb trees. Huh. Well, if I get stuck up there and can't get down? 
Not like it would be the first time. Come on, Garfield. Act like a cat. Hey, leave me alone. Ouch! Get in touch with your inner cat, huh? Next time I'll stick to mauling the sofa. There's really no need to go all panicky over this. It's only a matter of minutes before someone rescues me. I know someone who will. Yes, I'm happy to see you too, Odie. Now be a good dog and go fetch John. That's not John, that's his slippers. I want you to go fetch John. No, no, no! If that dog was any dumber, he'd have to stand on a chair to raise his IQ. Just go away, Odie, you're useless. You? Climbing up a tree? <laughs> Not in a million years. Great. Now we're both stuck up in this stupid tree. Hi, guys. Of all the trees in all the world, and you had to pick mine. <laughs> Do you guys know how to get down? Let's see. Cats have the natural tendency to always land gracefully on their feet. How about you jump off, we'll watch. Well, what if no one finds us? What if we stay here for weeks, months, deprived of any food and water? Gee, Nerma, why do you always have to be such a wiener head? Hiya, guys. What gives? Huh? Oh, we're just, uh, uh enjoying the breathtaking scenery. Oh, I see. I was under the impression you might be, you know, stuck up there. Oh, <laughs> yes, right, stuck in a tree. <laughs> Why, I say? And uh, what could possibly make you think that I, a perfectly normal feline, could get stuck in a tree? I don't know. If you say so. <laughs> Enjoy the scenery. Why did you lie to him, Garfield? He could have helped us. To salvage my eroded reputation, Nermo. And yours, too. Help! Over Help. here! Help! Over here! No, me! I need to buy myself a new pair. Way too much static. Over here. Yeah. Garfield? Normal? Odie? You're up in a tree. And the grass is green, Captain Obvious? How on earth did the three of you get stuck up there? Well, we're not stuck. We're just gathering pine cones. Perhaps you'd like to join us? Come on, Garfield. Don't be a scaredy cat. You can do this. It's easy. Look. Climb up. Climb down. Up, down, up, down. Just go fetch that big ladder over there and spare us the climbing tutorial, will you? Climb up and climb down. <laughs> I'm gonna break my neck! Somebody help! 
Who's the scaredy cat now, pray tell? Uh, Mr. Mailman, sir! Over here! Hey, uh, Mr. Arbuckle? Uh, uh, do you think you could give us a hand here and pass me that big ladder over there? Uh, sure. Then again, if I pretend I didn't hear you, I could carry on with my morning delivery without any fears of getting maimed by your mangy creatures. Did you just call me mangy? I was voted cutest cat of the county three times in a row, buddy. Take that, you letter carrier, you. That's telling him, Nermal. Ouch! You mean little fur balls! Guys, guys, stop it! He totally had it coming. <sighs> Congratulations, guys. You've just chased away the only help we could get. I know. We're going to form a chain and lower one of us to the ground so that he can go get the ladder. It's got to work! Who wants to be a volunteer? Whoa. Fine. We'll draw sticks. <laughs> oh, great. I can't believe I let them talk me into this. Garfield, you can let go now. Oh my. <laughs> Pull me up! Pull me up! Garfield, hang on! That's exactly what I'm doing! Oh, these tongues are slippery! Disgusting! Guys, I'm hanging on for dear life here! Sorry, Garfield. At least we tried. Oh, but wait! I forgot about my cell phone. I'm calling Liz at the vet clinic. And tell her what? Please come and rescue your boyfriend from a tree? <sighs> Way too humiliating. Even for me. Oh, please. Can't you put your male pride aside for a sec? This is an emergency situation we've got here. Sorry, guys. I don't want Liz to realize I'm a complete dork. But I guess I could call 911. It's their jobs to rescue people, right? And Liz won't have to know about it. We'll be down out of this tree in no time. What are you doing in the top of that tree? I was just uh, trying to rescue these guys, and and that's when I sprained my ankle. Ouch! Oh. Well, it's no Oscar-winning performance, but... Maybe he'll buy it. Let me help you, sir. Uh, fire on Broadway and 5th. Yep, roger that. We're on our way. Hey, come back! Come back! <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Sometimes I get a little squeamish about heights. Really? Aren't you guys trained for this sort of situation? I'm a fireman, not a monkey. This is getting ridiculous. At this rate, the entire neighborhood will join us in this tree. <gasps> I guess it can't get any worse, right? Oh. I just can't wait to watch TV, eat lasagna, and do all non-cat things. See? It wasn't so bad, was it? I... Yes, uh. <laughs> 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 right, stuck in a tree. <laughs>
Oh, hi. I was just indulging in one of my favorite <laughs> pastimes, uh, sleeping. Which reminds me, we get a lot of letters here asking me to name my ten favorite things in the whole world to do. Well, here they are in no particular order. May I have the screen, please? Number one, sleeping. Number two, eating. Number three, sleeping and dreaming about eating. Number four, and this one's a tricky one, eating while sleeping. Number five, sleeping on my other side. Number six, mailing normal to Abu Dhabi. Here, uh, notice I did not mark it fragile. <laughs> number seven, eight, and nine are all more eating. Which brings us to number 10. Number 10, my favorite thing in the whole world to do. And amazingly, it involves neither eating nor sleeping. It's watching Odie being tormented by squirrels. I love it. I shall now demonstrate. Watch. This is going to be your favorite thing in the whole world, trust me. This is great. <laughs> oh, you <the> squirrel. <laughs> you can come out now. The squirrels are gone. You earned that bone, Odie. On behalf of myself and the audience, thank you for giving us such a good time. Odious squirrels, you just can't get enough of them. <laughs> Fine job, everyone. <laughs> that must be the stupidest dog in the history of stupid dogs. <laughs> that dog has the brain size of a walnut. <laughs> More like a cashew. <laughs> And now, we're going to show you something you've never seen before in your whole life. I've seen this. This just in. Today, a man in Sweden set a new hippopotamus biting record when he successfully bit one hippopotamus. Tied for second place is everyone else in the entire world. <sighs> Boring. 637 channels and nothing to watch. <sighs> if only my favorite thing in the world was happening right now. Hey, I know that bark. That's Odie's I'm chasing squirrels and I'm about to make a fool of myself bark. Yes, yes. <laughs> Quick, everyone, out the back way. It's Odie time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Scoring at home. That's OD1, squirrels 783. I can't watch this. It's too horrible. Yeah, he's a goner. Poor devil. Such a fine, brave squirrel. There's nothing we can do for him. Ha ha! Hey, don't worry, Oldster. The bushy tailed one here is just in shock. He'll wake up any minute now. Just give him time. Hey, what are you doing? Nah, we don't want that in the house. John doesn't like having unconscious squirrels in the living room. I don't want to have anything to do with this. Before. Is this a common event? Oh no, this is most unusual. As a matter of fact, this is a first. No dog in history has ever actually caught a squirrel. This is a tragedy. I see. So would you say that the future of squirrels as a species is in jeopardy? Oh yes, definitely, definitely. It looks like we are at the end of an era and that we will all have to move to dog-free territories. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have some packing to do. Take me with you. I don't want to move. I like it here. Yeah. Maybe we could talk to the dog, make peace with him. After all the rotten things we've done to him, don't be foolish. He must hate our guts. We can try. What do we got to lose? <laughs> 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 oh no! He's tasting me! He's gonna eat me! <laughs> what? You wanna shake paws with me? Yeah, yeah. After all the crummy things we've done to you? <laughs> <laughs> that dog won't wanna make peace with us! We have to try! What if he tries to eat us? No telling what he's done to our friend. He's... <laughs> Quick, while he's away, let's get you out of here. Make a run for it. Hey, I'm playing with my new friend. Your new friend? But he's a... Uh, a dog. What can I say? We had him all wrong. Him and probably all dogs. <laughs> Good boy. Am I a schizophrenic? Of course not. And neither am I. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. And neither of you is worth watching. Oh, what to watch, what to watch. Could it be? Is it possible? It sounds like Odie's chasing squirrels again. The best buy for your entertainment dollar. Oh, 
We are forever your humble servants, O oh wise one. Odie? Wise? What color is the sky in your world, squirrels? Odie's idea of an intellectual pursuit is chasing his tail for an hour. How dare you insult our friend? Are we gonna let him talk like that about Odie? Apologize! I will not! Okay, brothers! Get him! Hey! Get off me! What do I look like, a bag of almonds? Stop! Stop! No! Hey! Oh, no! Well, it looks like my favorite show's been canceled. No more Odie chasing squirrels. But when you get bad news, that's the time to put on a happy face. <laughs> And if you don't, sometimes someone will put one on for you. No, Odie, it's too late to play ball. Ah, this dog never learns. Fine, let's play my favorite game. Go fetch and sleep outside. all you like. I ain't getting up to let you in, Odie. The Xantium repulsor is missing. Hm. If I don't find it, I'll never make it before the Saturnian rush hour. There it is. That curious quadruped life form has really saved the day. How could I possibly repay you, strange earthling? Ah, seems like this selfish lasagna devouring orange creature has it pretty easy. It's time to turn the tables and make things right. The deed is done. Stop it. Garfield? Very funny. You almost had me for a moment. Where is Odie, anyway? <sighs> Where's that dreadful stench coming from? <gasps> Ugh, barf. What's with the doggy breath? I better go brush my teeth. How did I end up here? I must have been sleepwalking. Ah, 
There you are, Odie. Come on in. Breakfast is ready. Wow, you still can't get my name right after all these years. Mmm, <laughs> lasagna, yummy. Hold it right, dear. If he's Garfield, then who am I? This can't be. Ah. Odie and I have swapped bodies, which means that Odie's eating my lasagna. There you go, Odie. Yikes! No wonder Odie's breath is so unpleasant. I'm not eating that. Back off, Odie. Those lasagnas are mine. Right. Let's not panic now. Let's just... Odie, are you trying to tell me something? Yes, yes, yes. John, John, it's me, Garfield. I'm trapped in Odie's body. Do something. Oh, I get it, Odie. You need some exercise. What's the matter, Odie? Can't breathe. Must be a nightmare. That's it. Wake up, Garfield. Wake up. I don't believe this. Odie's watching my favorite TV show in my favorite seat. In my body. Come on, Odie. Let's run another couple of blocks. I've had enough sport for a lifetime. Arlene, it's me, Garfield. Yeah, right. And I'm the Queen of England. Arlene, wait! I'm really Garfield, and I can huh? prove it. Last year, I accidentally ate all your birthday cake. And and remember I, I fell asleep in front of the TV on our first date? Thanks for bringing back such good memories. What on earth are you doing in Odie's body? Hey, you tell me. Maybe that's what you get for always being so mean to Odie. You're right. I always treated him like a dog, and now I am one. Aw, oh, cheer up, Garfield. Just think of all the new things you can do now that you're a dog. Like what? Run after my tail all day and drink out of the toilet? Hey, Arlene! Hey, Odie! Isn't it an awesome day? You know what, Arlene? You may have a point. <laughs> Hey, this is fun. Uh, oh. Buddy, are you insane? These dogs have a death wish on me. Buddy, come back here. Garfield, this is your one and final mistake. Leave me, uh, leave him alone. Odie, what's your problem? You're protecting Garfield? Yeah. Can you think of one nice thing that Feline ever did for you? One nice thing? Uh, one nice uh, thing would, uh, no. <laughs> My lucky bone! Booty, bad dog, cat. <laughs> now hush. Stay where you are, okay? Which way did that cat go? Wait! How do we know you're telling the truth? I swear, dog's honor. <laughs> oh, wow, that was hairy. Come on, Odie, let's go home. Odie? Odie? Where are you, you miserable... Odie, no! Yeah! This could be my lucky day. The day I finally get rid of that pesky vermin once and for all. Yeah, I'm sending you to Booga Dugu. Help! Someone call the cops! That psycho 
postman stole my body. Ah! Odie, are you in there? Dog's claws are so dull. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Another example of cats' immense superiority over dogs. Dogs don't land gracefully on four feet. There he is. I just risked my life for a laptop? Where'd that stupid cat go? Come back here, you four-legged thief! Oh, boy. Buddy, wait! This way! Not good. This way! Come back here, you orange nuisance! Not that way, Oni! This way! No way out. This is it, Odie. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for being mean to you, old friend. Goodbye, Odie. I'd better check how my quadruped friend is doing. My seven dreams. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have interfered in the first place. Let's fix this mess before it gets ugly. <laughs> my delicate whiskers. My wonderful orange fur. I'm me again. I'm Garfield. At least things are back to normal. <laughs> All things considered, the chair is big enough for two, isn't it, Odie? And don't come back until you learn to stop waking me up. Morning, Garfield. Morning, Squeak. Whoever invented the alarm clock should be dragged into the street and beaten. Hi again, Garfield. Hi again, Squeak. Nah, no, that's too good for him. Instead, they should make him sleep with an alarm clock nearby. Hi one more time, Garfield. Hi one more time, Squeak. I'm getting an awful lot of squeak this morning. I'll figure out what's going on after breakfast. Uh, make that after lunch. Whoa! We seem to have a mouse convention in progress. Oh well, it's not my problem. <laughs> this is my problem. Squeak! You squeak? <clears throat> Look at what's in my dish. There's nothing in your dish. My point exactly. <laughs> Please, Garfield, old pal, old friend, please be understanding. You ate my breakfast. 
All these mice, my cousins and uncles and nephews, they had no place else to go. <laughs> they all lived in that big house down the block that just got torn down. You ate my breakfast. I couldn't just turn them away. I couldn't just send them out into the cold, cruel snow. It's 92 degrees outside, and you still ate my breakfast. Look, Garfield, if you let us stay, we'll behave. We can help out, do things for you, <laughs> be your servants. Servants? Servants would be nice. From now on, I'd like my grapes peeled. Peeled? Oh, peeled. And uh, take out the seeds? The uh, seeds? Oh. Ah, this is the life. But I don't think I could take any more than, oh, say about 20, 30 years of it. <coughs> or maybe 20 or 30 seconds. Quick, everyone, hide. I'm scared. Garfield, oh. we're back. <sighs> Unfortunately. What's the matter? If John finds out the house is full of mice, he'll expect me to... Oh, got it! Oh, <gasps> there you are, Garfield. Looks like everything's been peaceful while we were away. Yeah, sure looks that way. Hey, have that thing sanitized for my protection. Huh? When I'm away, I always feel secure knowing you are watching the house, Garfield. I feel good when you're away, too. I know there won't be any intruders or accidents or mice, especially mice. Nope, you're not smelling a mouse. There isn't a mouse within 20 miles of here. Get your nose fixed. All that walking around Odie and I did, I just kept thinking how good it would be to get home and just to relax in my home here. Knowing it's free from mice. Because, as you know, there's nothing that bothers me more than mice in my house. <sighs> First, something to eat. It was rough under there. I'm sick of... Oh. Maybe later we'll order in from Lasagna Palace and then... Garfield? Is that a mouse? Mouse? What mouse? In your hand, that is a mouse. Eh? <sighs> what, this? Oh, <laughs> make like you're a toy. <laughs> oh, no. This is a happy, fun kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Oh, it's just a kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Squeak, squeak. Well, I guess it's cute. I need to get something to eat. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Garfield said we should hide. Oh. <gasps> oh. Garfield, did you eat all my crackers? Oh, we better get out of here. What are you going to do about this? I have mice in my cupboard! I have mice in my silverware drawer! I even have mice in my sink! Uh, do you mind? I'm taking a bath here. Garfield! <laughs> mice everywhere. How did that happen? I had no idea. Well, I have to go water my ferns. No, you don't. Come with me. I saw this website a few weeks ago and bookmarked it. It's for a service called Rat Tater Pest. Rat Tater Pest? Pay attention. Uh, couldn't we go to one of those websites where you can order pizza delivered? Mouse problem in your house? Then why not call Rat Tater Pest? Our trained specialists will rush to your home where they will stop at nothing. 
the mouse or rat hasn't lived who can defy the might of rat tater pants. <laughs> they can run. They can hide like the rodents they are. But they can never get away. <laughs> Rat Tater Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. I'm not going to click. Now. Because they're expensive and getting rid of mice is your job. I mean, you are the cat around here. You are going to get rid of these mice. Every last one of them. Uh. <laughs> I'm going out for a while. Come on, Odie. If there's a single mouse here when I get back, I'm calling in Rat Tater Pest. And I'm deducting the cost of them from my cat food budget. You won't see lasagna in this house for years. For years? The barbarian. Why doesn't he just cut off my oxygen? <laughs> guys, you gotta leave here. Guys, guys, yoo-hoo. Calling all mice. Calling all mice. Squeak! Hey, now that what's his name is gone, we have the house to ourselves. No, 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 you gotta leave. All of you. Right this minute, if not sooner. No way. This is our new home. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> you think we're gonna run from that? Other cats scare mice. Other cats eat mice. You gonna start eating mice, Garfield? <sighs> the very idea of it. Then it looks like we're here to stay. It's no use. It's not in my blood. What are we gonna do? I'll lose my lasagna for at least a year. John will call that horrible rat-tater pest. Oh, that service thing on the internet, that terrible rat-tater pest. I know. Come on, Squeak. I have to show you something. Hey, I was making a sandwich. Later, this is more important. Rattator Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. This is awful. Garfield, you wouldn't. You're right, I wouldn't. But John would and will, unless. Unless what? Unless you go along with my plan. Anything, anything. Get all the mice together. We're going to have to rehearse before John returns. Garfield, we're back. Are the mice gone yet? Okay, I guess the mice aren't gone yet. That's it! I'm calling Rat Tater Pest! You handled that so well. Naturally. I feel like you deserve a reward, but I have no idea what it should be. Oh, Luigi's Lasagna Palace we deliver. Good idea, Garfield. I'll call and have them deliver hot lasagna. Hey, you do that again and you'll wind up in the bag with them. Garfield! Lasagna's here! Garfield! Hurry, everyone in. Yeah. Thanks for everything, Garfield. Don't mention it. I hope you're happy living at Luigi's. How could we not be? All the lasagna we can eat. See ya! <laughs> All the lasagna they can eat. Garfield! Lasagna! lasagna. Hmm, funny. That usually gets him here in under three seconds. Oh, Luigi! Luigi, where are you? Oh, there you are! Luigi, you have to do something! You have to call an exterminator to get rid of this mice! Never mind the mice! I need an exterminator to get rid of him! <laughs> I think I'm gonna like it here.
So, you think you can rob a bank and get away with it? When will you criminals learn that you are no match for ultra-powerful guy? <laughs> Once again, I have saved the day and brought justice to the world! Boy, ultra-powerful guy sure has a high opinion of himself. Garfield, could I have a potato chip? No. But I guess if you are uh, perfect and admired, it's hard to be humble. Here, have a potato chip. Thanks, Garfield. Oh. Hey, well, I don't need your snacks. I'm so cute, I could get it on my own. This I gotta see. Are my eyes deceiving me, or is that the cutest kitty I ever saw? He's so adorable! Here, let's give him an entire pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and Canadian bacon. <laughs> Sorry, Garf. I don't have a slice to share. Well, if Ultra Powerful Guy came by, I bet you'd have a slice for him. Idea happening. Where's that long underwear of John's? <sighs> now I'm gonna need a towel and some boots. <laughs> Didn't know I was this handy, did you? Here you go, boy. A nice dish of sardines. <laughs> Beware, evildoers. You thought you could get away with your evil doing, but you failed to reckon with the awesome might of Ultra Powerful Guy. Wow. Citizen, have you seen any evildoers around here? I'm searching for the villainous Dr. Drastic. He's a master of disguise, and I have reason to believe he's currently made himself look like this. <gasps> but don't be afraid. He's only dangerous when he spreads around his disastrous Omega-3 explosive devices, which he makes to look like harmless but delicious sardines. <laughs> Great Scott, that diabolical villain. Fear not, citizen. Ultra-powerful guy is on the job. I shall dispose of these dangerous items. Up, Up and away! Hi, boy. How are those sardines? Odie, what's wrong? Odie, stop! It's me, John! John! Mmm. Oh, gosh. Wish I had a napkin. Oh, wait. I always wondered why superheroes needed capes. Now I know. <gasps> I wonder if there are any cat shows I could enter today, and of course, win. <laughs> Let's see, calculators, caterers, caterpillars. Ah, here we go, cat shows. Uh -huh. Two o'clock, I'll win it and be home by three. Hey, hey, it's stuck. Hey. I'm trapped in this phone booth! Help! I'm stuck in this phone booth! Help! This looks like a job for Ultra Powerful Guy! Here I come to save the day! Uh, oh, ouch! Ouch! You saved me! Who are you? <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Oh, I thought everyone knew Ultra Powerful Guy. What? I fly. I leap over tall buildings in a single bound. I eat, which reminds me. All of this superheroing stuff has made me work up an appetite. Could you show your appreciation by, uh, kindly supply me with a Sure. It's the least I could do for ultra-powerful guy. 
Cat, here, take this plate of spaghetti and meatballs. Here you go, UPG. Thanks. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying to eat here. Oh, sorry. See you later, superhero. <laughs> Now that's how you eat spaghetti, kids. None of this twirling on a fork jazz. You know what kind of dessert goes after spaghetti? Any kind of dessert. My, what an incredibly cute cat. Say, incredibly cute cat, have you seen two men around here? They're wanted criminals. Sorry, haven't seen anyone. Ah, this is great. I'll rescue Normal again and have his cute magic reward me with a couple of pies. Here we go. Hey, hey, slow down. I have to get to him before you. Citizen, look out. I'll protect you from that runaway dumpster. Stop this thing! I'm telling you, Joe, this is the time to rob that bank. And I'm telling you, Mo, not with ultra powerful guy around. That guy's too, he's too ultra powerful. That's the word. He can do anything. Anything except stop a runaway trash dumpster. Apparently. No, no, help! That didn't look very ultra-powerful to me. Me neither. <laughs> I'll bet Batman doesn't get banana pills in his mask. Hey, Mo, you see that? I see, I see. Ultra-powerful guy without his mask. He's a, he's a cat. Yeah, kind of a fat one, too. Gotta hurry, I have dessert coming. <laughs> Just think, we know ultra-powerful guy's secret identity. And we know his weakness. He is a cat. Let us go rob ourselves a bank. Let us. It's real simple. I saved your life, I get a reward. Aren't superheroes supposed to fight for truth and justice? Yeah, we do all that stuff. But sometimes we also need pie. Now get on with it. Banana cream with some chocolate sprinkles. All right. I'll put on my best banana cream pie with chocolate sprinkles cuteness. <clears throat> Meow. My goodness, I've never seen a cuter cat in all my life. Here's a chocolate cream pie with banana sprinkles. <laughs> <sighs> Close enough. Ooh. Wow, you're kind of a disappointment, ultra powerful guy. Not now. I have a pie. Oh, <laughs> gee. Ultra powerful guy wasn't that impressive. I wish I could have seen him do something really ultra powerful. Huh? Oh no, a bank robbery. What do we do? What do we do? I know. This looks like a job for ultra powerful guy. Hey! But I keep telling you, I don't do bank robbers. You know what I'm good at. Give me another pie. You're a superhero. It's your duty to foil those nasty bank robbers. I, I don't suppose you guys would like to stop in the name of the law? It's Ultra Powerful Guy. <laughs> we ain't afraid of Ultra Powerful Guy. Because we know his secret and that we can defeat him with this. <laughs> What is that? You don't know what it is? It's a catnip mouse. <laughs> Which is every cat's weakness. Doesn't do anything for me. Maybe if you had one stuck with lasagna. It ain't working. Yeah, let's get out of here with the loot. <laughs> Great Scott, this looks like a job for... Ultra powerful guy. Huh? Hey, you closed the door in my case. 
happened to Batman, trust me. Stop the car! Save a cat! Ah! End of the road for you three. Ah! Two! There are two of them. Honest, I'm just sort of a, a tag-along or pull-along. I don't count. What? Ah! Ah! Nice work, cat. If you hadn't delayed them, I never would have caught them. That was awesome, Ultra Powerful Guy. You are just amazing and... Hey, which one of you is Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. Oh, come on. Tell me, which one of you is Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. Guys, this is not fair. One of you is a real Ultra Powerful Guy. Which is it? I am. <laughs> come on. Okay. Which one of you is the real Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. <gasps> This is impossible. All right, guys. Last time. Which one of you, real UPG, hit me? I am. Trick-or-treaters. There's something I don't like about Halloween. Maybe it's giving perfectly good candy away to total strangers instead of me eating it. Trick-or-treat! Here's one for you, and one for you, and one for you. Here's one for me, and one for me, and one for me. Ooh, peppermint. Now make sure you don't eat all the candy, Garfield. Leave some for the trick-or-treaters. Hey, the bowl's empty. The candy is all gone. Gee, I wonder where it all went. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd better go out and buy some more. <clears throat> First dinner, then you go out and buy some more. More trick-or-treaters! Garfield, get the door! Candy! And wash your feet! <laughs> Sorry, all out of candy. Come back next year. Garfield, that's mean. Open the door and give them something we don't need. Here, we don't need this. Huh? Garfield, you can't give Odie away. Oh, the only candy we have left now is this old taffy you didn't eat last Halloween. Don't touch any of it. Hey, don't worry. There's some things in the world even I won't eat, and stale taffy is most of them. Ah, this is the night for free goodies. All I need is a costume. Let's see now. Hey, Odie, what do you think I should go as? Besides an overweight pussycat. The scarier the costume, the more treats you get. Now, let's see, where can I dress as it will be really scary? I'm coming to you live from the zoo, where visitors are flocking to see what may well be the no. scariest creature ever scariest? out here. He's Catzilla, a rare and near descendant of the prehistoric saber-toothed tiger. Everyone seems very afraid of him. Which might mean they'll give him lots and lots of candy. John won't mind if I use his paint, and the reason he won't mind is he won't know. Where's that toy walrus John won at the Carnival Ring Toss game last year? Mind if I borrow these? Of course you don't. You're a toy. Now I need to capture that savage Catzilla look. 
<laughs> no, no good. If I'm gonna look really mean, I'll have to think of something to make me look really hostile. Oh, I'm sorry, kitty cat. We have no more pepperoni for your pizza. How about some nice raisins? No, more hostile than that. Come on, Guy Field. Let's do some aerobic exercises. Then we'll eat nothing but lettuce for a month. Not quite. It's got to be something to make me truly hostile. Hiya, Garfield. Yes, it's me, Normal. I'm coming to live with you, and I'm going to sleep in your bed. <gasps> That's it. Now, to the treats. Hey, let's see what's on the news. Before we go, let's take one last look at Catzilla. We can't get too close to this fierce beast, because where's the fierce beast? Where's Catzilla? Oh, oh. He's gone? <laughs> Catzilla has escaped! <laughs> uh -huh. We better lock the doors. We're not far from the zoo. <laughs> hope they have peanut brittle. Hope they have peanut brittle. Hope, 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 hope. Oh, this is terrible. The beast is loose. Oh, oh, maybe I'd better warn the trick-or-treaters to get inside. Oh, did you see the news? They said... <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, no peanut brittle. That's right, Catzilla, he's on the street. <gasps> Send help at once. Ah, Catzilla! Ah, another good haul, but no peanut brittle. Of course I recognized him, it was Catzilla right here on my street. <laughs> what is it with these people? Don't they know how popular peanut brittle is? It was Catzilla, I'm sure of it. I was just watching the TV news report of how he escaped from the zoo. Let's see, 23 houses, 23 bowls of candy, total amount of peanut brittle, zero. Maybe I'll have better luck at the next 23 houses. There he is, right there! <laughs> Tell everybody what you're up to. <laughs> Hiding place. Hiding place. Let's go find him. No sign of him back here. When they catch him, they're gonna ship him off to a zoo in Siberia. Siberia? All they wanted was some peanut brittle. I have to get home. I'll be safe. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. We have reports that Catzilla has been sighted on the west side. He is extremely dangerous, and everyone is warned to watch for him. But I'm Yelp is right. Uh, it's Catzilla! This is John Arbuckle. Catzilla is on my front porch. Hurry! Hey, come on. I'm registered. You can't do that. Take your hands off me. I'm a registered cat. Good work. We'll get him back to the zoo right away. You guys have it all wrong. I'm not Catzilla. I live in there. There. There's Catzilla. See? There. He's sneaking into our house. Whew, that was close. Mm -hmm. Imagine the terror and the danger of having Catzilla in our home. Let me out. Get me an attorney. Get me an attorney named Murray. I'm not Catzilla. He's in my house, about to jump the puppy and that guy who cooks my lasagna. I gotta get out of here. It's open at the top. Maybe if I climb out. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah! I can't do it. 
Maybe I can pry the bars open. I give up. I'm not a superhero. I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm just a flabby, out of shape pussy cat. Hey, I'm a flabby, out of shape pussy cat. Yoo-hoo! Anybody? I shouldn't be in here. Hello? You shouldn't be in there. You're not Catzilla. You're a flabby, out of shape pussy cat. You noticed? Who well, is Catzilla? I know where Catzilla is. And I've got to get home before he goes trick-or-treating with Odie and John as the treats. Care for some fruit, Odie? Gee, you are hungry. Huh? I'll get some more snacks. Where is that light switch? Hey, how come the light switch is all furry? Catzilla! John, Odie, Catzilla's in the house. Oh, you've noticed. Oh. Maybe we can give him something to eat, like John's car or something. Wait, I know. <laughs> Quick, Odie, open up these wrappers of taffy. Here, fella, trick or treat. <laughs> Having trouble chewing, fella? Well, I don't think he'll be biting anyone for a while. There he is! There's Catzilla! Be careful with him, men! I bet you're glad to have him back. Well, we sure are. Oh, say, it's feeding time. Well, when I'm around, it's always feeding time. But Catzilla has quite an appetite. Each meal, he gets <laughs> ten steaks, ten cans of salmon, a roast beef or two, a dozen lasagnas. And for dessert, and you might think this is odd, his favorite thing, peanut brittle. Oh, it's wonderful. Peanut brittle. Oh, what are we waiting for? It's feeding time. Mind if I uh, join you for dinner, Smiley? <laughs>